Hey, Pathfinder gang, I was just going to show you something that I thought was really fun. I went to Google Earth, went to South Florida, and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select um, a portion with 10% uh, color matching. So it's only going to select part of the landmass, and I might do something like uh, this. Uh, let's get something bigger like this. Maybe something like more like 13%. Boom. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to start a new layer and make that uh, land. And then everything else is going to be water. And then I'm going to zoom in on, let's say, like this guy right here. And this is going to be, he's going to get a drop shadow. He's going to get uh, an inner shadow and he's going to get um, pattern overlay. I kind of prepared all these in advance and then he's going to get, uh, what was it? Bevel and boss. Yeah. So now it kind of looks like these are mountains. Um, let's see. Oh, I actually like this one. That's really cool. Uh, and then you can, you can just delete anything that you want to kind of simplify. So maybe I'm going to make this little archipelago here and Simplify that, and I'll simplify this, and then boom, you have kind of a, I'll round that out so that I get a nice border at the bottom. It's like a quick fantasy map generator based on real world data. So I just turned, I'm pretty sure I just turned somewhere close to Matt's house uh, into a Dungeons and Dragons kind of island adventure. Um, anyway, just thought you'd enjoy that. Um, if I started with something more high res, then this would be in high res, and then uh, we could vectorify it, we could load it in roll 20, and boom, now you know. Okay.